There we go, thanks for watching. Alright YouTube, so welcome to another video. Uh, this one's probably going to be filmed over a number of weeks or months probably. Uh, it's basically I'm going to buy, I'm not quite sure exactly what yet, but a load of stuff just to tart the engine bay up, make it look nicer for shows. Um, so if you see my beard suddenly growing and my hair getting cut, that'll be why. I didn't want to do like a video of, here's me installing some coloured washers. Ta-da! Thank you for watching. So yeah, I'll just do like a load of stuff at once. Who doesn't like a little bit of tying up? So these are the ones I'm taking off. They just don't work very well, you can just pull them out with your fingers. And the TGR ones I'm putting on, they use like your standard base of the clip, which normally you'd push something in and it spreads the four little legs at the bottom to, to hold it in place. But these ones screw into the bottom bit of these clips and then yeah, you obviously just can't pull it out then, you have to actually unscrew it to, to remove the washer and free up whatever you're holding down. So these work a lot better. So unfortunately, I can't get the plastic clips into these holes because they're too small. So I found some nuts that fit these bolts. And I can get access to the underside of that one. I can't get access to that one. So I've got them all in place now, those three plastic covers. You can see what I mean about not being able to get to the underside of this one because the cover goes down there. This one I should be able to get a spanner underneath, like I said before, to, to get to a nut, so I can put a dress up washer there. I suppose that's one better than none, I guess. As you can possibly see, that was very fiddly. <laughs> just trying to get the nut on the bottom of it, because you've got this pipe here, so it's really difficult. You're just trying to hold it and just get it to catch a few threads. I've decided to um, just use a circular file just to make these holes a bit bigger. You can see I've done that one over there already just a little test fit up there. So I'll have to give them a coat of paint just to stop them rusting in there once I'm done. Unfortunately I made this decision after I put all this plastic stuff back on because I would have done that one as well. But I'll do it next time I take it off. Just can't be bothered to do it right now. All right, so I put it all back together. I had to rush a bit because I need to get the car out of the garage because I've got to drive it to work tomorrow. So yeah, it's a bit of a rush. Um, I'm really pleased with those uh, TGR Motorsports um, dress-up washers. The slam panel, they just fit perfectly and they feel so much more snug than the, the ones I had on before. I did have to, for this one, on both sides, I had to cut the bolt down a little bit because I think it was bottoming out under there somewhere. I've had to cut that one. I'm a bit annoyed I didn't think about making these holes bigger until I put that on. Because I need to go back and do those that one at some point. But it looks pretty cool. I like it. I really like these. So I've got one there. In this light you can't really see the colour so much. So I've got one there, one there, and all across the slam panel. So it's about 30 degrees out at the moment and uh, unlike any sane person I thought I'd come and do a little bit of work on the car. Right so depending on how hot I get I'll either just be doing the, uh, the oil cap or I'll also be doing these tactical racing uh, bonnet struts. So these bonnet struts came with a couple of little dress up washers, these little gold ones but they're not gonna suit the uh, colour scheme of the car so I should be putting some more TGR washers on. I'm surprised how much packaging that these come in. It's almost like getting a watch or something. And there we have a new oil cap. Which feels very nice.
So that's pretty cool. I found a couple more places to put some of these TGR washers. That's cool, I like that. Okay, so it feels like it's hitting the fuse box. That's a bugger. So that all went to complete shit. I turned the camera off because I wanted to swap round um, the two end bits that you uh, they're on the end of each strut. They've got um, L for left and R for right. So I was thinking the left ones were on the left side of the car. So as you're looking in the, the engine bay, be on your right. But so that's what I did to start with. But the one on the battery side of the car, when I was trying to shut the bonnet. It kept just hitting the fuse box. So I thought, oh, maybe it means left as in as you're looking at it from the front. So I swapped them around and I went to shut the bonnet then and then the right hand one just snapped off, <laughs> snapped clean. So I thought, okay, maybe I had them the right way around to start with. So I've switched the end bits back round and I've just got one strut now, but it seems to work. Let me show you. So yeah, this strut was just hitting that every time. It's broken the clip on there when I tried to shut it. And then that one just snapped then. So I've just left the, uh, the dress up washers there. And then over this side, I've got my one remaining strut. This is how it's, it seems to work with me. So there we are. On the positive side, I put lots more dress up washers on the car. Gotta look for the positives, haven't you? And I've got a nice shiny oil cap now. Right, so I've managed to get dress up washers here as well now. This is the hole that I thought I was going to have to leave because I thought I'd have to do it next time I took the uh, plastic cover off. But I've managed to get them on using this, this long clip. It's probably about two centimetres long. And I've had to cut probably about seven mil off the uh, TGR bolts. And now yeah, it actually screws in and holds tight, which is cool. What I've also done is removed the Teguar dress-up washers from the battery uh, bracket. They're slightly bigger, they're thicker and slightly bigger diameter than the TGR ones. I think they still look pretty cool. There we go there and there. Just adds to the theme, doesn't it? So I've managed to put dress-up washers pretty much everywhere. <laughs> I'm sure there's some more places, but um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this at the moment. Let me uh, give you a little look. So starting around here, we've got these three. We've got the two on the battery. All the ones along the slam panel. And then we've got the, the four I've put on the bonnet as well. I shall have to tidy up the paintwork a bit. So in the very near future, I shall be getting a new rocker cover. So hopefully I'm gonna get one that ties in with the colors of the uh, Neochrome dress up washers. So stay tuned for that. I think that will really finish off the uh, engine bay. Well not finish it off, but it'll really give it that wow factor. Because let's face it, an engine bay is never finished. <laughs> oh wow, I've got a proper sweat on. I wish I'd never started that today. Uh, sorry guys, a bit of a shit video. A uh, bit pissed off, I snapped that, that strut. But at least it seems to work with just one anyway. Whether it, other people had the same issue where it's hitting that, um, I think it's the fuse box. Uh, it's where like the, the relays are, so yeah, whatever it's called. So I wonder if other people have had the same problem where it hits that way with you. Maybe I've just should have turned it round a bit or something, I don't know. But yeah, it's just a video of me 
put them dress up washers all over my engine bay and fit in an oil cup. <laughs> you win some, you lose some, don't you? But there we are. We've all had fun, haven't we? So thanks for watching as always. Please like and subscribe. Hit the old notifications bell. Uh, check a comment down below and I shall see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Thank you.